Hello, my name is Thomas Kubica and in this short video I'm going to demonstrate how to set up ClearPass with Active Directory in Aruba Instant AP. So first let's log in into a ClearPass GUI and we have a fresh installation here. So the first thing we want to do is go to the configuration section and take a look on the services. What we want to do is add additional service here and uh, I'm going to choose Aruba Wireless uh, template so it pre-populates some of the details so I don't have to do it manually I put some name over here and I move to the next section which is authentication I'm fine with the methods here and I want to add an authentication source and in this time I need to create a new one so let's click on add the new authentication source uh, let's put some name over here and go to the type and what I'm going to do is a active directory I can do the backup server, which I don't have, so I will move to the next section. So what I want to do is to configure some host names or, the, the, or IP address of my Active uh, Directory server. And I need to do some, some binding, so some login information, how the ClearPass should talk uh, to, uh, to my Active Directory, and some base DN. Maybe I don't want to go through the whole tree, I, I just want to have some um, some part of it uh, in a clear pass. So in my uh, Active Directory server over here, you can see that I have a pretty complex structure here with various pods and users and various organizations, units and things like that. So we can search this directly from the clear pass GUI. So I don't have to really do it manually. So directly from the ClearPass GUI, I will say this is a part of the tree I want to use uh, for this uh, authentication service. So let's click on Next. And there are some other attributes which are synchronized. Uh, I will keep it on default, uh, check my summary, and I'm fine with this. So here now there is a new authentication source so we have added the Active Directory we're not going to do to use any roles or enforcement so we'll just you know let's read the summary and we're done with configuring our service next one is we need to add a device authentication uh, uh, server uh, so basically access point or switch so let's put some name over here and specify IP address or range or, or subnet and also the shared secret which needs to match whatever we configure in our access point so we are fine with this. Uh, click Add, and we're pretty much uh, pretty much ready. The last thing we want to do is uh, to use PEEP MS Job version two. And then we need actually our ClearPass server to join our Active Directory domain, right? If you use certificates, you don't have to do this. If you use MS Job version two, this is uh, really important uh, to make it because it will not work otherwise. So you can very very simply join the ClearPass server to the domain. So basically, you go here to the server section, join domain, specify some you know username, password, and details like that, and the ClearPass will you know become the member of the domain. It can actually be a member of a multiple domains. So even if you go with PMMS version two, which has been headache wimps with some authentication systems, it is really easy and simple to set it up uh, with a, with a ClearPass. So what is happening now? We're joining the domain, and uh, I have uh, actually do some cuts here, uh, so uh, we don't have to waste our time looking into that. It will take like a, a two, or three, maybe four minutes uh, to complete this process altogether. So let's speed it up a little bit, and uh, we're actually close to the done here. All right, so we are coming to the end of that. This is really important process because um, that's that's the way how the Microsoft Active Directory works, and this is the really the easiest way how to how to make this uh, up and running. So we were fine on the ClearPass side. So let's just configure AP, which will be really easy. So let's log in into our Aruba Instant AP, and which is in a fresh configuration. So I'm going to create a new wireless network. So let's put some name here and uh, move to the next section where I really don't want to do anything I just want to go to the security set the enterprise level uh, specify a new remote uh, radio server and uh, put IP address of my clear pass here and specify a short secret all right we will also do accounting here 
and that's pretty much what we want to do so let's click on next we don't use any restrictions or any enforcements in this demonstration and we're we're done on the access point side so now it's time to actually figure out whether it works for us so let me see whether the network is visible already all right here it is so let's connect to it it's a first time so it might take a little bit longer till Microsoft client actually figure out all the you know the, uh, the authentication schemes and things like that so let's wait a little and here is a prompt for username and password and since it's against Active Directory so I will use uh, full name of of the user in my Active Directory and then I'm going to click OK and connect so what is happening here we are using PEEP MS Job version 2 and you have seen that it is really easy to set up all the components like access point uh, clear pass and uh, joining the Active Directory so as I said it's the first time it might take a little bit longer but uh, it, is, it is okay now so we're in you can see the name directly in the Aruba Einstein AP GUI and uh, if we go uh, to the clear pass uh, monitoring section we will see the request successful uh, here so that's that's pretty much what we wanted to show so it's really easy to set up clear pass with Active Directory and Aruba Einstein AP